Hi all, here we are again in my office, the floor that I live on. Um, in any event, there's been a whole lot of papers that have come out recently that are demonstrating what I've been saying for years uh, regarding how we can control infections through the use of metabolism. They still don't quite get what's going on. But at least there's further very blatant support for the concepts that I've been evoking, in particular with respect to HIV. And I want to just remind those who maybe don't know or don't remember that we can completely control HIV through the use of high-dose cannabis, along with other supplements that make it all easier. And that not only controls HIV, bringing viral loads to zero, but it also controls Carposi's sarcoma. Now, HIV, because of how it destroys the immune system, winds up leaving people susceptible to everything. And one of the most common everythings, in particular in Africa, is tuberculosis, as well as Carposi's sarcoma. Carposi's is the number one cancer in Africa, because people with HIV get Carposis. Most people like who don't have HIV, uh, we're exposed to Carposi, but we don't get it uh, because we have a functional immune system. In any event, most of us are not in a fat burning mode unless you're in a ketosis diet or an Atkins diet. So that means we're not going to be burning fat, which also means that we're not going to have our autophagy, self-eating, uh, biochemistry implemented. So what I want to just make sure everybody understands is not only can we control the HIV, but we can control the Carposis, and I've been suggesting it for years, but nobody has done the experiments. Hopefully they're going to get done soon. Finally today, it looks like cannabis science may actually be doing something with the knowledge that I gave them. I gave them the ability to kill cancers, and control HIV and Carposis, you know, but things go slowly, way too slowly, especially when people are dying. So I'm getting, uh, gaining a little faith that perhaps they're actually going to uh, implement some of my ideas. In any event, what I want to really emphasize is that uh, not only can we control HIV and Carposis, but I'm quite certain, especially based on this most recent science, that we'll be able to also control um, tuberculosis. And another one of the illnesses that is uh, very prevalent, AIDS-associated illness, is uh, pulmonary hypertension, where you have high blood pressure in the lung circuitry, basically, lung cardiovascular circuitry. And there's all sorts of nasty things associated with that, and there's not very good uh, alternatives. So I want to just tie this into the general concepts once again, that when you're in the sugar burning mode, which is what HIV requires, that one of the ways that we can deviate the metabolic flow to allow for survival of things is to make fibers. And pulmonary hypertension is caused by fibrosis. So once again, if you were to turn on fat burning appropriately, I believe that you could prevent and potentially reverse that fibrosis. So here we are able to deal with normal biochemistry, fibrosis, you know, normal, our normal range of exploration. Uh, meaning, again, that cells are always, they have many, many paths. Think of it as a highway. You know, how many different roads can you take from, to get from part A to part B? You know, you can go on the highway, you can take a million back roads, and if somebody blocks one road and you got a detour, you're going to go somewhere else. Well, that's what's happening with our biochemistry. Okay, it's exactly that same story. And when you're in the sugar burning mode, that's when cells are making energy efficiently. And that's what also allows for differentiation. In other words, for us to be who we are is because we've been able to have a higher level of differentiation because we've been able to better control 
the free radical production that would otherwise cause the cells to die. And our endocannabinoid system is a fundamental player in that. And therefore, we're able to regulate bacterial infections, viral infections, cancer infections, because <laughs> it's kind of like a, the wrong cell infecting our body. Uh, and also, I think it's, uh, anyway, we'll leave it at that. So I think that there's a lot of really strong evidence that we can control all of the HIV-related malignancies and other illnesses, as well as the HIV, through the proper use of cannabis. And I'm so happy to see that cannabis science may actually finally be doing something. I certainly hope so. Peace and love. <laughs>